back to the Mendota Ranch. Um, we're down here at what we call Big Daddy's Water World. If you look at on look at it from Google Earth, you understand why they call it Big Daddy. We keep the bushes trimmed; it makes it look a little bigger. And uh, this is Wes Avent. So Wes is my buddy from town. He's got the flyboard that brings us so much enjoyment watching everybody crash it. He'll drop you on the in the ground. I mean, it, it busted my eardrum. Another guy busted an eardrum, but you, you, you talk big on the ground, but when you're 40 feet above the water, it's like, ah, maybe I'll do it next yeah. week. You hit the water, hit that hose a time or two when you're falling, it, uh, you don't want to do it again. Yeah, you hit that hose, it's like hitting a fence post. Yeah. It, yeah. It's solid. Well, we hang out down here a lot. We've got a, we've got a Malibu wake setter, so we're, we're surfing and wakeboarding, and we've got stand-up jet skis. So summertime, this is a pretty sweet spot to be. Anytime I mention flyboarding, I tend to get a lot of questions about what it is and how it works. So this was the original flyboard. Uh, it came over into the United States about 2013, and that's when I did my first flyboarding. Uh, they've evolved, essentially getting to be quite a big sport. Uh, Frankie Zapata from France was the one that originally designed the flyboard. And uh, so now I do a little different flyboard. It's called an X-board, and we'll show it to you here in just a little bit. So on the old original flyboard, it was just a solid board. Uh, you stood on a solid board and to make it move, you pushed one foot down and lifted the other one up and that's how you turned. It takes quite a bit to make one where it will run a flyboard. This is a basically a, an adapter that comes off. This makes it where it can drive the jet ski. But what we're gonna do is take this adapter off and then we're gonna add the U-joint that makes this uh, jet into the fire hose. So we've taken the adapter off and we're back to just this plate. When we first get the jet ski and we wanna make it into a flyboard and jet ski, we, we take it plumb down to here this one actually has a different impeller than a stock impeller. We put this plate on it and it makes it where we can put the U-joint on it. So this is the X-board. Uh, it's the one I've went to. I uh, went to the X-board about three years ago and this is my second X-board. On these new boards, each foot can move independently. So you can turn and make a lot tighter and smoother turns with this new board. So this is basically just a six inch fire hose. Uh, it's 60 foot long. Uh, we'll attach it to the back of the jet ski. It'll run from the back of the jet ski to and attach to the front of the jet ski. So probably the worst wreck I had was uh, we was out here and Ryan Burns was running the jet ski for me. And I was spending a lot of time diving and going in the water and I got a little deep and I hit the bottom of the lake. And when I did, it just pile drive me into the bottom of the lake and twisted my ankles, both of them, the worst I've ever twisted my ankles. I couldn't hardly walk after that. I am the only one that I've ever hurt on the flyboard. <laughs> <laughs> when somebody comes out to fly that is new to this, I run the jet ski for them. I, I control all of the power. They can control the direction and how, um, how they, where they go, but I have to I control all the power for them. So the remote allows me to run the power from the flyboard and I can run the jet ski without having somebody on it. The jet ski that I run is the Yamaha GP1800. Uh, minimal horsepower on one of these is, to run one of these is about 140. Uh, if you get much less than 200, uh, you can't get much of a, a very big person up. Uh, they're just, it's a lot better if you'll run better than 200 horses. Uh, this, this particular machine will uh, do about 280 horses. So. Horsepower does uh, depend a lot on how heavy a person you can get up. 
Um, I've had a 320 pound guy on this thing before and he got out of the water. So if you're thinking you can't do this, you can do it. It's, uh, it's actually uh, very simple once you get out there. If you've got any kind of balance at all, you can get up on a flyboard. So what we've done is we've hooked uh, the U-pipe up to the back of the jet ski. It's hooked into our hose that runs the hose to the front of the jet ski. And from the front of the jet ski, it runs to our flyboard. So now that we're all hooked up and ready to go, let's get this thing in the water. We'll go back and do one. All right, don't forget to uh, give me the thumbs up and give me some comments. If y'all like this kind of stuff, um, let me know. And thanks for following me on Instagram and subscribing to me on YouTube. All right, we'll see y'all later.